presentable for you guys. Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Plains. Well, it's Saturday, uh, late afternoon, early evening, well, about 9 o'clock, I guess. I guess you call it nighttime. Just depends on what schedule that uh, you personally keep. I work second shift, so this is my afternoon. So I went and saw my mom today. I didn't fly. It was windy and cold. Man, this is the first day. It's November 12th and right now it's like 31 degrees and I think the high today was around 37 and then yesterday it was like upper 60s so go figure right winter is finally here so I went and saw my mom she's currently at a skilled nursing facility she had a surgery on her on her femur and she went from the hospital to a skilled nursing place where they'll rehab her and, and help her walk and, and throughout the you know the the right after uh, surgery post-op I guess you call it and hopefully she'll graduate from there and go back to her assisted living place but for all of you that left some nice comments about how you know what I'm going through yep you can relate and it's quite something I spent uh, three quarters of my visit with her this afternoon just cleaning her phone out you know just junk you know things she's downloaded on accident or just just you name it man just just uh, it's just all part of it so uh, anyways so we took the ESC out of the night timber X so we could put a little servo lead on it to use for updating or programming and we weren't successful with the update oh well so let's uh, let's put it back together and then hopefully tomorrow evening we'll get uh, number three flight in it. So let's put the ESC and the motor and, and all that stuff back on it. I get the wheels off because it fits better in my plane stand when I wanna put it on an angle like that. The, the wheel down here on this side here gets all jammed up. It can be rearranged and stuff, but you know, it's two little nuts to take the wheel off, so no biggie. All right, hey, let's throw this uh, ESC and motor back in it. All right, what do we got here? So we got our timber, and got the timber timber box. Got the ESC that I guess comes in a Cirrus. I don't know anybody with one of those planes, and I've never personally seen one. I didn't know that they came with the that speed control, but maybe maybe they do. Let's see here. So we're gonna need to fish the the ESC kind of around the rabbit hole to get it get it in here. So the ESC sits under the battery tray. And then obviously the battery wire comes up. And anyways, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Alright, so off with the off with the cowl. As soon as I unscrew the two little screws holding the cowl on. Uno. And those. try do it like this well that was kind of easier than I not. Well, I fought and fought and fought those wires trying to fish them around and so forth, so I just took the battery floor out. It's only held in there by just a couple little pieces of glue. 
the, the foam you see stuck to the battery floor that's all that it was connected to so now that the floor is out we can lay this in there just like we want connect all the wires and then put the floor back down in I'll show you when it's done getting ready to connect the motor wires I didn't want to leave this part out this is heat shrink that is just like on the ESC and the motor I think I got this at Amazon for probably less than ten dollars and it's got all kinds of different shapes and sizes in there and I just cut three little pieces and yes I could have grabbed a black, a blue, and a red but I just grabbed all the same size slip them on over and then speed control here there's the, there's the red one just like so all right and then where they where they plugged up put the heat shrink you know where the two touched and then a match or cigarette lighter or a crack lighter now it makes a bond all the way around it and it shrinks to all the little contours and crevices and and it'll keep it from coming apart there's a blue one and the black one like that Now, less chance of them coming unplugged. We got it all back together. I got the floor glued back down in with a little canopy glue. That made it much easier. Just pull the floor out, then just lay everything down how I want it. Got the motor wires routed in there a little, a little nicer. And then got her all glued back down in there. So the next video, I've got the iX12 pulled up on the TV. You'll want to see the next video. It's going to be cool. All right, guys. Hey, that's all I got for this one. Tomorrow night, hopefully, uh, we'll get number three of the Night Timber X flight in. This is one of y'all's FMS Avanti Jet right here, guys. Can't say thank you enough. We're around 930 subscribers, something like that. So once we get to 1,000, we're going to do a drawing, and I'll be mailing this to one of you. Fresh. All right, guys. Hey, thank you. Until next time, you'll see me here. Now i got to put this thing back in the box. If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe. Click the notification bell and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys.